Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shri Vanilla. Today's topic is glandular odontogenic cyst. It is also called as silo odontogenic cyst and mucoepidermoid cyst. Silo odontogenic cyst. This name is given by Padayachi and Van Wick in 1987. Glandular odontogenic cyst. This name is given by Gardner et al. in 1988. Why it is called mucoepidermoid cyst? This is due to presence of both secretory elements and stratified squamous epithelium. Glandular odontogenic cyst. It is pathological cavity having fluid, semi-fluid or gaseous contents and which is not created by the accumulation of pus. It is frequently but not always lined by epithelium. Origin. It is known to originate from cell rests of serrus, that is, remnants of dental lamina. Clinical features. It is more common in middle aged adults and male predilection. Site. More commonly seen in mandible with slight predilection for anterior region. Size. It is usually less than 1 cm in diameter. Symptoms. Small lesions are asymptomatic, slow, progressive and painless, but large lesions may be associated with pain and paresthesia and locally destructive. Sign, expansion may be present in large lesion. Radiological features, unilocular or multilocular radiolucency with either smooth or scalloped margins. Margin of the lesion is well defined with sclerotic margin and scalloped margins. Root resorption was reported in some patients. Tooth displacement was also reported in some patients. Histopathology Lining epithelium is not keratinized stratified squamous epithelium of varying thickness. The lining epithelium have glandular or pseudoglandular structure with goblet mucus producing cells and microcyst which contain mucus. This opens into surface of epithelium giving corrugated or papillary appearance. Epithelial thickenings or plaques may be present. Occasionally the epithelium is thinner similar to reduced enamel epithelium. Interface between, between epithelium and connective tissue is flat. Diagnosis. Clinical diagnosis. It is not specific. Radiological features. Multilocular appearance with scalloped margin may suspect this cyst. Laboratory diagnosis. Histologically, it shows cystic space lined by non keratinized epithelium. The mucus and cylindrical cells form an integral part of the epithelial component with mucinous material within the cystic space. Management Surgery Enucleation or curator should be performed in this case. Recurrence is common in this type of cyst, so careful dissection should be done in order to avoid recurrence. Patient should be followed for at least 3 years and preferably as long as 7 years. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.